Hi everyone, I'm going to be creating a mandala using Illustrator today. Now I know the last one that I did was hand drawn and I did it on a dice tower, which was pretty fun, but I have actually missed doing this digitally. <laughs> on my channel previously I have done an Illustrator tutorial where I show you how to draw in a small triangle area, rotate that around a circle to create a full mandala. Um, but this time I did a course online and it showed me how to create a file in Illustrator where you draw in the triangle and then it automatically rotates it for you and shows you the completed like auto mandala. So it's really cool. I'm going to switch over to my webcam which is probably a little bit lower quality but just go with it. You can see I've got my screen set up already. I've got Illustrator open and I have a triangle. Now I'm not going to go in the details of how to set up the file, that's an entirely different video. But what I am going to do is create a mandala for you today and see what I can come up with because it's been a while and I'm feeling really excited about it. Okay, so first things first, I just want to give you a little bit of a preview of how it's going to work and talk you through it. And I also want to show you some of the things that Illustrator can do. And I'm also going to be using the pen tool. Now I know a lot of people don't like the pen tool but to be honest, the pen tool is your friend. Master it and you will realize how awesome it really is. There is so much you can do with the pen tool and you can get so much accuracy. And that's what I really love about Illustrator because it's very pixel perfect and you work in vectors so you're not losing any quality and you can scale up and scale down and it makes my brain feel good. <laughs> so enough babbling. I'm going to show you how this works. So in this little triangle here, that's where I'm going to be drawing. I'm going to use the blob brush just to start off with. I'm just going to draw inside this triangle. And boom, it creates the mandala. I mean, it, it looks pretty crap because I'm not drawing very well. <laughs> I draw a line like that and then you can see it a bit better. I'm just going to delete all that rubbish I've just drawn. Now I'm going to leave the triangle there while I'm drawing just so that I know where the boundaries are and let's get started. One thing I did forget to mention, because you're seeing the triangle like this, um, imagine that there is a center point. So I will be doing some um, reflecting so that I can get it lined up. So as you can see I've got something here on the left and I want to reflect that over to the right hand side. So to do that, you right click, transform, reflect. You want to make sure that it's selected on vertical. And if you have the preview um, checkbox selected, then you can preview it. But I'm not going to click OK, I'm going to click copy. Reason, uh, the reason being is because I don't want to just like get rid of the one that I already made. I'm making an extra, an extra line. And then I'm just going to hold down shift and then slide it across so it's on the same horizontal plane or vertical plane you know what I mean so there we go <laughs> now I have two spiky things sticking outside of circle yay me um, next up I've got this so I'm going to copy that bring it over into this file does that work oh 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 that looks interesting Ah, interesting. Okay, I'm just, whoop, whoop, just going to make that a bit smaller.
Just two more things I want to show you before I get into it. Um, some, some of the things that you can do with Illustrator. So I've just got the pen tool and I'm just going to draw a line here. Now that is currently set with a basic uh, a basic basic path. I'm just going to pull the stroke panel out just so that we can I can show you more easily what we're doing. Now what I want to do with this path, I'm just going to zoom in on it. You can create a dashed line. So if I check this box, it's now creating a dashed line that is 12 points wide. And you can see the weight of the line is just one point. So if I increase the weight, you can see what it does to the line. I don't have to explain it. But now each of those uh, dashes is 12 points and so is the gap. But if I want the gap to be something like double, I'll just put in 24, then it makes the gap wider. So you can configure these as much as you want. Another cool thing is if you change the end cap to round, then you have these funny looking slugs. <laughs> um, if you create the dash as zero points, it is going to give you a circle. So this is a great way that you can get dots in a line and they're going to be so equally lined up, it's just going to make your brain feel so happy. This is what I love about Illustrator, it's so pixel perfect. Um, obviously you can change the point gap between them. So currently the weight is 21, so if I do it at 21, the gap, it will put them right next to each other. And obviously if I do it at double that, 42 maybe? then you can see there's exactly one dot space in between them. So that's one really easy way that you can create um, designs just with a click of the button. The second thing I'm gonna show you is how you can create the same effect, but instead of just dashes and dots, you can use any kind of shape that you've come up with. It can be something you've drawn and scanned in, or it can be just a shape. So I'm going to create a shape from the polygon tool, and obviously I'm gonna do a hexagon. Uh, that's actually got a dashed stroke on it, so I'm just going to untick the dashed line and then you can see I've got my polygon there. I'm going to make it have a fill instead of a stroke, so uh, over here I'm just going to swap that over, turn the stroke off. So now I've got a polygon. I'm just going to open the brush panel and I'll bring it out so that we can see what we're doing. So what we're going to be doing is turning this polygon into a pattern brush. So you select the new brush button, then you choose pattern brush, and you click OK. You get this window, now you can check out some of the settings in here. I'm going to change the spacing to about 25%. And on this box here, I'm going to set it to none. This is how it handles corners. And then with the fit, I'm going to put it approximate path. And I'm going to click OK. So now all I need to do, I'm going to click on this original line because it's already there. So now I've got my path selected, I'm just going to click on the brush and it instantly turns it into the same pattern that we had with the dashes. So that's a really quick and easy way that Illustrator really helps you out with making complex lines and shapes and all sorts of things. It's called the pattern brush and it is really helpful and it's how I created some of the effects in this mandala. So I'm going to carry on drawing and I'll see you at the end.
So I think I might be done. I had a few issues with my computer shutting down um, and you may have noticed I look a little different because it is the next day but I really enjoyed doing this. It took quite a while but I think I'm done. The only thing left to do is just to put the D20 in the middle. I'm not going to colour it in this video. I might leave that for a future video or a future live stream um, but I'm pretty happy with how it looks in black and white. Now, not all of my videos are going to be Dungeons & Dragons themed, but it just kind of finds its way in there. And, uh, yeah, so that, that just kind of happened. Um, but I'm going to call this one Molly's Mandala, and give me a thumbs up if you recognise the reference. Thank you so much for watching, I really hope you enjoyed that. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel and you can also find me on Instagram and Twitter and I'll see you in my next video.